Hi everyone and welcome to my place. I have a friend getting married in a couple of weeks time and I want to do a proto for her so that she can see, well hopefully I'm on the right page and she's on the right page. This, these are the requirements. It's going to be in, there's a lot of concrete, she hasn't got much colour, she loves succulents, she doesn't want any fuss, but she wants something that looks delicious and wonderful. Honestly, I have to be a, a miracle maker sometimes. So what I've done is I found this um, cake stand. It's a concrete fake um, cake plate, which I thought would be great. I actually like when I'm doing designs to have it up off the table surface. It gives the illusion of a little bit bigger and a little bit grander. Because she also wants to have candles, I found this that goes with it. Now I found this at My Flower Wholesaler. I'm sure if you go to Amazon or go hunting, you'll find visuals. If I can get them here in New Zealand, then you girls anywhere in the world should be able to get anything because it is such a long way to get anything to here. I'm the last in the world to get anything. So I know that these are available. Right, that is going to go onto the top. Now that's just an oasis um, wreath, wet, what, uh, a, a green oasis wreath frame which I've just soaked into water and then I'm going to put that on the top so make sure whatever you're using that you've got enough room to put a candle or a candle holder into the middle. Now she doesn't like anything much green, she doesn't like ivy, she doesn't like ruskus, she doesn't like hydrangeas, she doesn't like, didn't want any she just didn't want much greenery. Well, you can, I just figure that you just can't have flowers um, without greenery because when Mother Nature display, uh, designed most things and she did put greenery with it, except for succulents, but never mind. Okay, so I've got a little bit of Ruskus um, trail here. It's artificial, of course. Um, I'll, probably, I'll try and get real before I get, get, um, get her to see this, but just to see whether it will work or not, I'm just going to just, and what I love about this is that it, it um, not ruscus, this is, oh, I can't remember what this is called. In fact, I will in a minute. By the time I get to the end, I'm in the midst of designing something. I'll retain, that's what it's called. So I'm just going to put that onto there, and I'm using little bits of wire clips, and I'm using about a 22, just cut into little strips, and I'm just going to push that around the sides, like so, just to hold everything in place. Remembering that I am going to be putting succulents into there. So I'm just going to take that bit up into there just to hide that little centre bit. Not that I want to hide it because it's a design feature, but I think that I don't need all of, to visually see all of that. In fact, I'll just take that out of there. Right, the next thing to go into here is the succulents. Now when you're designing with succulents, it's actually easier to, instead of mucking around, to just wire them. So it's just a matter of getting the wire through there, bringing it down, firmly holding this but not too hard so that you're going to squish the leaves and then just rolling that around like so and then you just need just a little few little prongs at the end just to hold it in place. So that's just going to get pushed into there. In fact if I'm very lucky I might be able to just, ah I can, I love it when that happens. That stem there is just a little bit too long. And like what I love about the succulents is they last such a long time. I'm not worrying about small and big and any of that kind of, um, I've got none of those thoughts at this stage. She wanted it as natural as possible with not too much fuss. So I think that um, having them just ringing around the edge of the container is possibly all that I need to do. Actually, this is better than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, actually, I don't have to wire those in. So there we have that like that. Easy, easy, easy design. And then she wanted a candle. How easy is that going to be? Now, I've just looked at something. Before we go too far, the bits around the edge there, I am going to have to wire those bits in there because it's looking like it just needs a few little baby, ah, that's better, just to get that balance right. Just bring those around there. That goes through there like that without breaking it. I broke that other one because I was a bit rough. And then I might just bring that little one into there like that. Ah, that's better. Look at that. That's great. So that the design is actually rounding down. Now, um, in regard to the candle, I found a great little tip the other day. If you put your candles into the freezer, they will last much, much longer. But I think, and I just need one more into there, so I'm just going to put that into there like that. In fact, 
I just need one more and I've got them here so I might as well just use them. So that's just really just layering and poking it up and just giving it a wee mist of water like this. The great thing with succulents is they hold a lot of moisture internally anyway and this can be done, in fact I will be doing it probably three to four days before the wedding, keep it misted and it should be perfect on the day. Fingers crossed that my friend Bridget likes this design because to me it's talking simple, no fuss, but still looking a bit groovy and a bit flash and a bit elegant. Well, I hope so anyway. I hope you've enjoyed this and I hope that I've helped solve one of your design problems. Easy, easy flowers, low budget, still looking fantastic. Thanks for watching. Thank you.